Hi everyone, my name is Martin Guada and I'm here to demonstrate to you how to set up and operate the self-propelled Dayleaf lawn mower. And we will go ahead and remove it from the box so that you can be able to see some of its features. Once you have the unit out of the box, the first thing to do is to fix the handle using fasteners provided. This is a simple process and shouldn't take you long to do. Next is to ensure that the control cables are well positioned using the clamp provided. The next thing is to ensure that the right quality of oil is added. Oil and fuel is not mixed. The oil sump is 0.4 liters and the recommended grade of oil is SAE 10W40. It is important to keep checking engine oil level every time before use. The next thing is to add fuel. The fuel tank holds 0.9 liters and care should be taken to ensure no spillage. The mower has three various discharge options. The first option is bagging of the trimmed grass, whereby the grass which is trimmed is collected in a collector bag and once it's full, you can be able to remove the collector bag and dispose of the grass at a safe point. The second discharge option is mulching, and this involves chopping of the mowed grass into smaller pieces, which are then allowed to fall off to the ground as the mower is moved. The final option is side discharge, in which the grass is allowed to exit the mower sideways. A side discharge piece is provided for this purpose, and is fitted by lifting the side plastic cover and wedging the piece in it. You then adjust the height of the blade according to requirement. A seven position adjustment lever is provided for cutting height adjustment between 25 to 75 millimeters. And before starting the machine, press these red buttons three times to ensure that the fuel line is fully primed. Having done all that, the mower is then ready for use. To start the mower, pull the fuel control lever slightly upwards while holding the lever in that position. Pull the recoil start for fully to get the engine to start. A second lever is provided for propelling the unit and by pushing the lever upwards, the mower will be able to propel forward. The mower is then operated with the lever in that position. And to be able to stop the engine, you release the fuel control lever and the engine will come to a rest. At the end of the exercise, it is good practice to ensure that the cutting blade is cleaned of any debris. Routine maintenance is also crucial in ensuring that the machine remains in good condition.